Oh, this is a, you're looking at this is a, a guy. This is a it's a major joint of a fire. There's a huge. It looks like the cover of uh, Burning by the way. It does, doesn't it? It looks like it's a massive. Peter uh, Tosh ought to be the other end of that. Doobie, <laughs> a massive doobie on the screen. A massive. And here's the thing. There, there's that show called What I Lie to You. Uh, that originally Angus did, and now, of course, Rob Brydon does, uh, which is p people, they've asked me to be on it a couple of times, and I've done it, and I've got plenty of stories, obviously, and they say, give us something that people might not believe about you. And I've said, well, I was in Led Zeppelin for 35 minutes. This is true. I was one of the original uh, faces in the London dungeon. This is true. Um, uh, and on, and on, and on, and on. There's plenty to do. You know, I've written the princes and stood up the future king of England and all this. Okay, okay. And then I said, um, uh, anything else? I thought, anything else? So I said, uh, uh, I said, one thing people never believe about me, I said, I've never smoked dope. Well, the 12 year old BBC researcher could hear the phone drop. <laughs> what do you mean, you know? I said, I haven't, I've never, it's never, uh, you, know, uh, you know, God love you. I said, I know it's omnipresent now. I said, but uh, when I was uh, on the estate, it wasn't a lot, of, I didn't know anyone who smoked dope. I didn't. I wanted to. I thought, oh, yeah, that's sophisticated. But I had no idea what particular cellar you went to and pulled up your collar and your hat down and went down and asked for some, you know, two ounces of hashish. That just wasn't part of the culture. And it's unbelievable now when they put, you know, dope through your the door with the pizza menus that the, 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 <laughs> but we I never had I'd never smoked dope um, I, didn't, I took a lot of speed when I was a punk rocker you can imagine me on speed there you go <laughs> <laughs> But I never, never, no cocaine and, and, um, and dope, I never did. And they could not believe that. They didn't use it on the show, they used one of their stories. Um, anyway, so the only other person uh, I, I know who equally says nobody believes me is former editor of The Enemy, Danny Kelly. Danny Kelly. Uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of people say, are you and Danny going to do any more shows? Uh, I'd love to work with Danny again, but I, 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 I'll tell everyone here, Danny lives approximately... Uh, uh, a minute and a half from where we're broadcasting. Is he here tonight? No, no he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, I'll try and come down. He lives <laughs> 90 seconds away. <laughs> we could be working together tonight, but no. no. He's indoors watching some repeat of the cricket. <laughs> Honestly, 90 seconds away. No, he isn't. Uh, so, Danny's never smoked dope either. So, um, Danny's a great... Uh, Which is even enough. more amazing than Danny's... Well, Danny's you say case. that, but I was there during the era of Charles Sean Murray and, and Penny Real and all these old NME heads who were just... You know, but Danny spends his entire life listening to heavy dub records. Dub records, he was editor of NME, editor Q and all this. So you think, well, just there's no big deal. I don't put any store by this, but it just never has happened. It, I, don't, I don't... I wouldn't... Anyway, so we, we used to talk about this, me and Danny, and then he rang up one time, and Danny never says... Hi, Dan. How you doing? Never does that. Danny's one that we, he's, you pick up the phone. You always know Danny goes, listen, we're going to Holland. <laughs> Hello, Dan. Listen, you know why we're going to Holland? So I say, no, I'll tell you why we're going to Holland. Because there's a record fair, and I'm reading it now in the Record Collector magazine. It says the stalls are the size of two and a half football pitches. What do you say to that? I said, well, when? Doesn't matter when, are you coming with me? Because otherwise... All right, he said, and you know what else we're going to do? I said, what? He said, we're going to get stoned. <laughs> I said, yeah, all right. He said, no, we are. Listen to me. I'm being absolute... I'm, we always got this thing, Deli, Deli Serio. We always, I'm Deli Serio about this. <laughs> listen to me, Danny. Listen, listen. And he's absolutely serious. We are going to get stoned, because what we can do, we'll go to the record fair, and we'll come back from the record fair, and we're going to find one of these bars, and we're going to get absolutely stoned. So I said, right, and you know what we're going to do next? This is absolutely, because we'll discuss this. Then, once we've been stoned, listen to me, because I'm serious. All right, we're going to take a boat on the Norfolk Broad and take LSD. <laughs> All right, Dan. I'm not joking. I said, I know you're not joking, Dan. All right. So we did. We, we, I said, when I'm going to Holland to get stoned. Oh, bleeding it. So, all right. So, why we, so we, this rebel fair was in Utrecht. So, uh, and there's another story about it. me and Danny actually went to a football match in Holland and ended up in the wrong country. But there you go. Uh, so, uh, we went there and we went to this record fair. And sure enough, he was a bit disappointed. It was about 1.8 football pitches at best. Anyway, <laughs> so he's buying, as you know, all this hardcore dub and, and techno and jazz albums. And I'd buy, I buy rock albums from the 70s. So we, anyway, we bought loads of stuff and we came back, put it all back in the way. He said, right, here we go. Uh, 
let's do you know let, let's do this. So the only time in our lives he ever said that. So we went down to reception and we walked out in the street and we've both been to Amsterdam before a few times, but we couldn't quite remember where they all were. Doesn't matter. But the first one we come to, we'll go in. <laughs> Well, we must have been walking for about an hour. <laughs> right anywhere. So we saw this one place that had a, 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 you know, had a neon in the window, smoke, smoke, a little a, a marijuana thing in neon next to it and all of this. What do you think about that one? So I said, uh, that looks like the place, is it? And it had, yes, we sell marijuana in the window. <laughs> Actually, if you ask one of them, I said, I think he's got... So, we, no, that's the first... We'll, we'll find another one. We carried on walking, walking, and eventually came round, and he said, look, that one there. I said, Dan, that's the same place, but the neon's gone out. It's, we, 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 we went in there. Now, the last time we went to Amsterdam, all the uh, dope joints were kind of funky, uh, sofas like this, and pot plants, puns intended, all just a lovely kind of... Because I'd been there with bands, and I'd been there with me and doing the blockheads, for example, and they got absolutely tongue, but I have no idea how to smoke dope, and they had no interest for it. So, anyway... Uh, in we went, and we, uh, but as soon as we went in, it was stainless steel and glass, and the music was like this. And we looked at each other and we said, this, this can't be right, this can't be right. So we, we left there, uh, walked around, couldn't find anywhere else, came back to this place, got down, let's go up to the counter and just, just get stoned. Up we went to the counter, right, we'd like to get a stone, please, right? <laughs> You sell marijuana? Yes. So I said, uh, yes. And he's quite busy, uh, and the music wasn't quite as insistent as it was. So Danny said, uh, yes, well, um, how do you do this? Because we don't know. And they gave us some menus, they, and the bloke walked away. And I said, Dan, what do you reckon? He went, well, we, you know, the names we didn't know. And I, uh, so, um, I said, well, go with the second one. That's not going to be... OK, excuse me. So he came back. I said, we'll have the second one, uh, out, um, uh, a half ounce or an ounce, whatever. But well, he said to me, uh, what do you reckon, Dan? Uh, I don't know, how, what would you suggest? You know, sort of, uh, I don't know. So we said, right, we'll have some of that then. So he brought us it back and, played, and right, here we go. Stand back, everyone. <laughs> we're we're going to get stoned. And we found a little booth and we sat in this booth. And he went, now, what do you do? So I said, don't ask me. <laughs> he said, what do you do? I said, well, you, 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 um, you get cigarette papers, don't you? You make a thing. Have you got any cigarette papers? I said, I haven't got any cigarette papers. Right, back up, we went to the council. Excuse me. Uh, Cigarette papers, please. And the fellow, and he's busy in there. And the fellow went, uh, which ones? And there was a cabinet behind him, about 400 in. Um, what would you suggest? He went, I, 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 I said, well, th those, mate, them there. And the fellow went and he paid him. He came back and he went, well, you make it. And I said, I don't know how to make it. Well, I don't. <laughs> so we got there and, uh, and we were having a go and it's just ridiculous. I said, like, I'm trying to think of with Nail and I, that rectangle, just ridiculous. Anyway, he said, now what? So I said, well, because mine was all right. I said, it was all coming apart. He said, um, right, give us the marijuana. So we said, and, and we poured, I said, but you, you cut it with um, it, it, cigarette, uh, with, with, tobacco. Uh, with tobacco. He said, have you got any tobacco? I said, I haven't got any tobacco. <laughs> Back, excuse me. I so said, what? I, well, I said, um, would like some uh, cigarettes, which ones? Well, Danny, I said, well, Marlborough. Pack of the Marlborough, please. So I gave us the Marlborough, back we went and sat down. Right, here we go, stand back, everyone, here we go. And we broke this cigarette, how much do you put? I said, Dan, I don't know. I've never done it. So we broke up a few cigarettes, and there it was, and we tried to wrap these papers around it. It was ab it absolutely ludicrous. It kept busting open, Danny, uh, Look, you're not taking this serious. I said, Dan, I ain't, I'm not doing it. I don't, I'm so, and eventually we made this terrible limp blimp of a thing and like this. Right, right, here we go. Um, you twist it off at the end, right. You got any matches? I said, I ain't got any matches. <laughs> Back up we went. Excuse me. Uh, and Danny, I knew it, Danny went, excuse me, I'll give you a hundred euros if you make a joke for <laughs> No, he gave us the matches. We went and sat down again. We got this one fucking stuff, limb blimp. Right, Danny, okay, here we go. So I and, and it got the match alight. He said, you go first. And I lit it, and the thing which should fizzle at the end, I don't know, but it just exploded like the cover of Led Zeppelin 1. It went <laughs> boom! And it was all coming down the edge, and, oh, and we stepped there. <laughs> and, I, and we're killing ourselves laughing. Dan! I said, I've got to stamp it out, it was coming in. So, well, what, what do we do? I said, I don't know what we did wrong. So we built another one. And we did that and we laid that out like this. And he then saw a woman passing by, because people were looking at us. And he said, would you come and do this? And she said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll come and do it for you. And this woman sat with her, God love her. And within like 20 seconds, with, there you go. Do you want one as well? And I said, oh, we're, we're going to share this one. Here we go, everyone, stand back. So we, 
we lit this, and I went first, and I lit it, and I've never done smoke or anything, so I lit this thing, there we go. And I went... <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> I said, I said, Dan, oh, I said, yeah, give it to me. So he got it and he took a puff on it and a piece of smoke went under his glasses and into his eye. <laughs> and he's gone like this. And he looked at me, killing, coughing, having a coughing fit. And the smoke coming, and, he, and we both went into the worst giggles we've ever had in our life. And I said, Dan, this is a washer. And people must have been thinking, like in Harry Met Sally, I'll have what they're smoking. Because <laughs> we were gone. We were gone, and we stood up with this paraphernalia and dope all over the table, and we said, and then we stood up, we said, gentlemen, it's all yours. <laughs> and we walked out of there and went for a Chinese meal. <laughs> and, and we did, and thank you. And I swear, we sat in the Chinese restaurant, and we all were still laughing about it, and I let it die, and I said, oh, uh, what do you want to go on the Norfolk Broads and take LSD, then? <laughs> It was an absolute fiasco. I'm gonna...